Hey everybody, I'm currently at the Seattle airport um, doing this video. So, uh, my speech I chose for this assignment was a talk given by uh, Mike Rowe. He's pretty famous, he's best known for his show Dirty Jobs. Um, he's narrated tons and tons of documentaries, he's pretty famous on Discovery Channel. Um, and what this speech was, he actually gave a TED talk um, where he talked about jobs. And so this show he did, Dirty Jobs, was about him going and doing just every job that nobody wanted to do, and uh, hence Dirty Jobs. Um, what this allowed him to do is kind of see a part of society and uh, different kinds of lifestyles that most people never saw. And uh, so he talked about his experience on it. Um, he also did another recording on a, a podcast by um, a man named Lewis Howes, so uh, that's also what I'm going to be going off. Um, but what I would like to mainly talk about today, from based off that speech, is uh, jobs and lifestyle. Just kind of those, and how they play together, how they affect people. And so... Um, with that, my experience with this topic, why I was interested in it, is because it's kind of something I've kind of learned over the years, how they work together and what the purpose of a job is. And I think there's a lot of things that most of us are told when we're young. I think a pretty universal belief that most people have is just, you know, pick something you're passionate about. Be this because you're passionate about this. Um, find your passion whatever that is and um, with that I've kind of over the years seen that that may not be as important as a lot of people think um, Mike talks about this that he interacted with a lot of people who did a lot of hard things and a lot of these people got into these jobs because they uh, just saw everybody was going one direction that they uh, you know, they're either just everybody was doing these things that everybody else was doing, going to school or doing whatever. And he said these people found a problem and they chose to fix it. And it wasn't necessarily going to school that made them do that. They just were observant and saw an opportunity. And so and he talked about how those people were just as happy as your average person. So, um,. With this universal, this kind of combats this universal belief that oh, you have to do what you're passionate about, but it's just, you know, you, it come, becomes more of a think outside the box. And a lot of these people enjoyed the work because they got to be uh, their own boss, they got to make this life do the things they wanted to because of this, they were willing to work hard and not follow status quo. So when this first started for me, uh, this thought of importance of lifestyle over job is I, first when I was younger, I talked to my dad about what I wanted to do for work. And he runs his own company. And he told me that, you know, he wasn't particularly interested in what they did or what they manufactured, but that it allowed him to do what we like to do and allowed him to, you know, be with us, be with his family, and to spend time with us, and for us, a lot of us to do fun things, and that that made it worth it for him. Then later, I had an opportunity to serve a mission for my church where I got to go to Canada and meet lots of people. Um, at one point, I was talking to dozens of people during the day, every day, and I decided to do a survey where I asked people a series of questions in regards to religious things, but then also kind of things about life. And one of the questions I asked was about uh, happiness, what makes people happy. And 99% of people responded to saying family. Family always makes people happy. And it was never their job. And so when a lot of people today, you know, they always say, like I said earlier, you know, pick something you're passionate about because that's what's going to make you happy. But everybody else, when I actually talked to them, said that that's not the case. That it's, you know, family makes you happy. And so, 
with this it just kind of got my wheels turning in my head and so I talked to some more people and a really good example of a man I talked to was he this man uh, John he was a dentist and he told me how he came to you know decide he wanted to be a dentist and so what he did was he originally wanted to be a pilot and he actually knew a commercial pilot and so he went and talked to him and he was like tell me about your job you know tell me about you know this amazing thing you do because everybody wants to be a pilot that's just a common thing you know flying is just this amazing thing and so he asked him he's like yeah so tell me about your job and the guy just responded to him you know i feel like a glorified bus driver I, he's like it's just the job you know i go and i fly the here fly there I'm gone all the time it's not the greatest thing in the world and so he, he kind of just was like hmm okay so this man john decided to change his career path he's like, okay like i'm just gonna do something that allows me to do the things i want to do like the fun things i want to do so he became a dentist and in canada dentists average a lot more than a dentist here believe it or not but uh he then afterwards so since he made enough money he could do things like he got his pilot's license eventually but it was for fun it wasn't for his job and so these experiences kind of showed me that lifestyle um, in the end usually matters that's it's what matters in the end it's the most important thing and that it's not necessarily following you know what you're passionate about what you want to do is as a young adult is the smartest decision to make you know nobody ever you know nothing even in my life and only in the 21 years i've been alive you know i've enjoyed to do every single day you know there's nothing not even you know video games or sports whatever it's never been something that i love to do that every day but um what i do enjoy is being with family you know being able to do the things i want to do and being able to control that and so picking a job that allows you to live the life you want is really the key and that's the consensus i've come up with amongst just from all the people i've talked to and i think that has been a great lesson i've learned and it was a great lesson that mike showed shared uh, one of his my favorite quotes from his talk was uh, people that um, pick up roadkill whistle while they work he's like don't think you're gonna go off and find this glamorous job but these people that find problems and fix them they're the ones that uh, are happy and I just think that's really my lesson is just find something that allows you to do the things you want and that's the key and that's it